hello you guys and welcome back to another video today i'm finally going to be filming something that i've wanted to do for a really long time i don't know why it's taking me this long to do it but it has been long awaited for myself today i'm going to be doing a little review about my car and kind of some things that i hate and love about my frs i've had the car for over a year now i'm going on to my two years of ownership i think i've owned it for long enough to kind of know what i hate and what i love about it i used to binge watch these videos so much when i originally wanted this car like that's all i would watch until i got it so that is why i've always wanted to make this video because i've always watched these videos and i think they're kind of fun i know everyone has different opinions on what they like and what they don't like about this car i thought i'd just give like my little opinions on this car maybe if someone's on the fence about buying one or maybe someone that doesn't own one and wants to know a little bit more about them or more about my car and what i like and my opinions maybe i don't know I'm also going to be announcing my giveaway winner after I finish this video. It's not going to be at the end of this video because I am adding a little vlog. But after I finish this portion of my video, it will be right after it. So make sure you stay tuned to see who the giveaway winner is. And yeah, I'm so excited to choose one. So the first minor thing that I hate about my car specifically, I'm not sure if every FRS or 86 or BRZ has this problem, but I do. And it drives me nuts every single time because it's just so annoying. And it's like such a little minor inconvenience but like it happens every time so it's just like oh my goodness drives me insane every single time I turn on my car usually cars that have Bluetooth and you're connected to it automatically connect your phone they'll start playing your music but my car on the other hand it's connected to my phone but to play music I have to like click the screen so many times and it is so annoying then I'll go on my phone press play press play on the screen and then it like just won't connect but then when it finally does connect and I see the song that is up there like it still doesn't play like it'll play on my phone but it won't play on the car so I keep clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking and it like after many 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 clicks and going back and forward it finally starts playing <laughs> Since we're on the topic of screens and music playing and Bluetooth and all that stuff, another thing that is really weird, I don't hate it for it, but it's just like really funny. When I first got my car, I was like, what is it showing? Like what, what are these pictures? Is when I do have my music connected, I play my music from Apple Music. I don't know if it changes for like Spotify or like other stuff, but for my Apple Music, it'll like show the song and then there's like a little picture on the left the picture is so random sometimes like say i'm playing drake or whatever like they use like such an outdated picture of drake like it's, i feel like it's just so random i don't know if it's maybe because like the car is outdated and like let's say for example like a justin bieber song like they'll show an old picture of him with like his old swiped hair like you know the believer days and i don't know it's just so random the pictures it plays that's something i like hate and despise about this car i thought it was just really funny to add i don't know where these pictures come from i don't think it's from apple music because i feel like apple music has like up-to-date stuff so it's definitely the car and like its system but i think it's really funny and I don't know, you just have to see it. <laughs> so another thing that I do not like about this car is how sensitive the passenger airbag is. It is so annoying sometimes. That's probably like one of my biggest pet peeves of this car is anytime I place anything, it could be my phone, it could be a water bottle, it could literally be the smallest thing ever. It for some reason triggers the airbag sensor. It starts playing the annoying sound that it plays when your passenger doesn't have a seatbelt because they think that someone is sitting there and they don't have their seatbelt on and it just doesn't go off. I try not to put anything on there and if I do, I try to like lay it evenly and not just have it be in like in one spot. Cause like if I just like put my phone like this, like the airbag will most likely go off and it is so annoying, like it is bag is going off already now that i actually start to drive it's gonna start going crazy and not stop all because of my phone my seat is so dirty oh my goodness <laughs> Whatever I put there, it does it. So another main and common thing that I think a lot of people that own one of these cars can agree on is that there is no power. There is like zero power. Anything can beat us. Anything is faster than us. I don't think anyone buys this car with the intentions of being fast or trying to beat everyone. It's probably like the number one comment that I'll get whenever I do post my car is that it's slow and that's fine. I'm okay with having a little turtle, a little pink turtle. I'm okay with that. 
There was another thing that really scared me when I got this card that I never really saw anyone talk about when I watched these videos. I don't know if I just missed it or if I forgot when I got my car. There's a pretty loud chirping noise that comes from the engine. When I got the car, I didn't hear it at all, but then after a few days, obviously I started like getting used to the car, started actually listening to it way more. I started noticing this chirping slash cricket noise and I was like, oh my gosh, is my car gonna break? Like, is there something wrong already? Like, I just got it three days ago. Like, what is going on? I took it back to the dealership because I hadn't done any research. I was just like, oh, you know what? I just bought it. They're gonna know what it is. Like, they can check it out. So they checked it out. There was like, nothing's wrong with it. Everything's fine. We heard the noise you're talking about, but that is a normal characteristic of the car. So you have nothing to worry about. I was like, I was like, okay, if they say so. so. The last thing I'm gonna talk about that I hate about this car is that it has no auto lock. And when the car gets put in drive, the doors don't automatically lock. When the car gets put in park, the doors don't automatically unlock. I know it's such a minor thing. I think all of my cons are really minor stuff, like nothing too big to be like, oh, I'm not gonna get this car because of this. And I always want to make sure my doors are locked because I always think about like, what if I'm at a red light and someone just opens my door? Your doors every single time you get in your car because you never know. What if someone just unlocks your doors and takes you out like it's a GTA game and they steal your car and then you're just there Now I want to talk about the things that I do love about this car and I think the pros outweigh the cons These cars were not made to be fast. They were made to be fun and enjoy it and I think it does exactly that I love driving my car everywhere and I'm still not tired of it after more than a year almost two years of owning this car I still like driving it just as much as I did the first time I got it The number one thing that makes this car fun is the handling of the car This thing is meant to be going to the track and like autocross and going in the canyons and stuff like that Like this car is for that and honestly It's really good handling is due to its weight distribution this car's weight is distributed so well It is almost 50% of the weight in the front and 50% of the weight in the rear The thing I really like about this car is its affordability it's a pretty affordable sports car and i think it was made to be that way they had a really good deal on an frs like a 2013 to 2016 for like under 10,000. i honestly do think it's a pretty good first car if you're looking into getting one the next thing i really like about this car is the space it has don't let these useless back seats fool you because you could fit people back there if you really wanted to they might be a little bit uncomfortable especially if they're a little bit taller they'll probably be like this in the back trying to fit you don't have people back there back seats are are great for extra space and the trunk fits a lot of stuff still I shove so much stuff back there I fit all four of my Conte wheels back there with tires on this car fits a lot especially when these back seats get put down the trunk space just kind of doubles and I think one of my top favorite things about this car is the huge selection for aftermarket parts that you can buy for it literally ranges so much that if you really want to get creative with this build you really can it is a huge community in this which is another thing I love I love that there is a big community with this car and i've met so many other people that have this car and are really good friends of mine so i really love that so i'm just gonna shove that in there because i forgot to make it its own point you can really customize this car from head to toe like i'm not joking it ranges from different body kits there's like three different versions of rocket bunnies you can do aim game you can do the artist in spirits you can do the rally backer another example is like tail lights or headlights there's so many headlight options i have the v -Lan. Or for taillights, I used to have the Valentis, and even with just Valentis, there's so many options that branch out from Valentis, or you can get custom taillights like I did. I think the last thing that I will talk about that I love about this car is simply the way it looks. I think it looks so good. I've always been in love with the way it looks, even when it was stock, like just the body of the car i feel like it's so aesthetically pleasing and it's really nice i might be biased now because i've always liked these cars these are just my opinions at the end of the day and i really like how these look overall i think you guys can even see that i truly love this car like i said the pros definitely outweigh the cons and if you are thinking about this car i think you should do it now to move on to the part that everyone's probably been waiting for the giveaway winner so i'm finally going to be announcing the winner to my first giveaway and i just want to say thank you to everyone everyone that entered to anyone that shows me support i really appreciate it so i'm just getting some few things together and waiting for things to come in so i can do my second giveaway on here 
and I'm so excited. I think you guys are really gonna like it because I really like it and I'm so excited for it. I just want to say thank you again for all the love and support that I get all the time. It really does mean a lot to me. So thankful for everyone and yeah. So I'm going to head inside and get on my laptop and choose a giveaway winner and I'm going to record it. I'm so excited to see which one of you gets a dash cam and gets to twin with me. So let's head inside. I'm on my laptop now and I'm about to run a random generator to pick a comment. Grabbing all of my comments. 520 comments so let's see who is the winner so at FRS media their dream car is a GT2 RS that is cool yeah, so they did put their Instagram so at FRS media won this giveaway I'm gonna be ready to send out as soon as I have their information this is my winner so congrats on winning my giveaway and thank you so much for entering. So now that I chose the giveaway winner, I contacted Mark and let him know that he won and he responded back to me. I'm going to be shipping it out sometime this week, probably tomorrow or the next day. Now for the rest of the video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on my day. Right now I'm going to Omo Motorsports and I'm going to go pick up some new stuff and I'm so excited. They're not going to go on right away because I am waiting. After that, I'm going to meet up with my friends and we're going to wash our cars and we're going to a Stance Tuesday meet today. So it's gonna be a little fun filled vlog. Let's go there. I just went to I just went to Omo Motorsports I got my new goodies. No energy. You probably know exactly what that is But for those of you that don't know I'm not gonna say yet because I am gonna have a new video out Hopefully soon. I'm still waiting on some parts, but hopefully soon I can came to the car wash just washed my car. It was so bad. Set up his new wrap. <laughs> oh, he turned it on. Get up, Lonzo, for your custom tail light needs. the wheels on and his mom took it for a joyride. <laughs> That's so bad. Mine are so bad too. <laughs> she just runs the curve over. Club. symbol is from try and guess it in the comments so I'm on my way back home now we got some food ate at a wing stop I feel like I didn't really record that many cars but it's okay I'm just gonna end up the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye